Well, <clears throat> I'm Black Bright and it appears that people think I can talk on any subject. So I've got a real challenging subject to talk about now. What is the difference between a nice man and a good man? Because they reckon women don't like nice men. Well, when you think the opposite of nice is mean. And somebody who's mean is somebody who's cruel, somebody who's disrespectful, somebody who's hostile, um, selfish. And women don't want that. So they do want a nice guy. But I think what they really want is a good guy. Because with a nice guy, they tend to be um, very agreeable. They... They, they, they compromise too much. They want to please the other person over and above themselves. And that's what you call a nice guy. And somebody who doesn't really, who's not really convicted. Everything is about the other, is about the woman then. And so that woman, when she sees a man like that, it's like she's thinking, oh, well, if he'll do anything for me, you know, I can walk all over him. And women don't want that. They don't want a people pleaser. They want somebody who's powerful, who's responsible, who's um, quite dominant, um, who's self-assured, who's assertive. And those are the qualities that come under a good man. A good man is somebody who is vulnerable, who is not emotionally distant. They tend to, you, you feel protected when you're with them. You know, as opposed to a bad boy. So then you have the bad boys and they say, oh, women love a bad boy. I don't know if women love a bad boy. I think they like what a bad boy presents or how he presents himself in the beginning. I think they like the bravado. I think they like the, um, the self-assuredness. And I think they like the fact that that person looks like they're quite powerful and so they feel safe. What sometimes happens with the bad boy, though, is that he's hiding a lot of insecurities. And so over time, those insecurities come to the fore and then the, the, the woman finds out that she doesn't really like the bad boy because, you know, he, you know, he tends to be um, unable to get in touch with his feelings. And so you, they're, they're kind of on different levels. So... I don't think nice guys finish last, but I do think um, that there needs to be some kind of balance between being nice, being good and having that little bravado that women like with, you know, that kind of bad boy syndrome. I, I think and I think it all depends on the type of women as well, because, you know, you have women that are like moles and they like people like who are in the mafia you know they have those kind of women or you have the woman who just want to settle down and they don't care who that person is as long as he's reliable and stable and then you have women who want a bit of romance a little bit of excitement a little bit of toing and froing somebody who keeps them on their toes so it's very very difficult but I find that with nice guys they're just too compromising that's not my personal well it is kind of my personal opinion but it is the general view that um, nice guys are just too compromising i wrote down a couple of things here actually and because they're too compromising they're prone to exploitation people tend to take advantage of them because they they, they don't seem to have any um they don't seem to have any um i don't want to say morals but you know they don't have that values you know those things that make what are important to you it's almost like what's important to them isn't important anymore now that they have you and so a lot of their um their morals or values go out the window and they spend their time trying to please the other person or the woman and the woman sees that as a weakness so it is important that a man holds his convictions, is assertive, sticks to his values and his morals and his principles, doesn't compromise them. Um, I mean, there has to be some compromise in the relationship, but not to the extent where you're putting yourself to a disadvantage. 
Um, I put um, good men are usually supportive, emotionally available. You can grow with them. You can learn from them. You can evolve with them. Um, they're usually masculine, um, powerful, protective and decent. They're accepting of your foibles, thoughtful, sociable, socially desirable, responsible, aware, honest with their feelings, those kind of things. And then um, the bad men tend to be temperamentally distant. They tend to be selfish. They tend to be disrespectful, aggressive, loud, overly critical, judgmental, inconsiderate dominating, controlling and demanding it respect. The difference between a bad man and a good man is that a good man commands respect. A bad man demo demands respect. There is that subtle difference. Um, and nice women and bad women, we also have them because it's no point putting a bad woman with a nice man or a good woman with a bad man. So there has to be a balance. So nice women, they tend to be, they can always be, they also take an advantage of and people look, you know, tend to abuse them or not treat them right. They don't return calls and they find themselves disappointed and, you know, nobody tends to uh, meet their expectation because they too are overly compromising. They're looking out too much for the other person. They're putting their needs on hold. They're not looking after themselves. They don't love themselves enough to uh, make sure that their needs are being met. They're too busy looking after the needs of other people. So you've got the nice women who are maternal, they think for their partner, they avoid conflict, they want to please, they're overcompromising, they often get disappointed because they don't get back what they give. You know, then you have the mean women, um, what they call the mages. Um, they they're out to get what they want, they're inconsiderate, insensitive, they lie, they betray, they let down, they're unreliable, they're unresponsive, um, always trying to get one over on the other person, just not very, very nice people. Good women now, as opposed to nice women, Good women tend to be supportive, emotionally available. You can grow with them, learn from them, similar to the good men. You evolve with them. They're feminine but assertive. They allow themselves to be vulnerable. They're socially desirable, responsible. They're aware, honest about her feelings. And then the bad women, as opposed to the mean women, they tend to be temperamentally distant, selfish, a lot of hang-ups disrespectful, aggressive, thoughtless, loud, overly critical, judgmental, a victim of her past, lacks empathy and feels as though the world owes her a favour. A bit like the bad man and um, yeah, similar traits. So when, um, when you're talking about um, women don't like nice men, it's not that they don't like nice men, but they do not want somebody who is not self-assured and who does, who over compromises, who's not sure of who he is. And nice men tend to be too accommodating, too agreeable. And that is the problem. Once but when that nice man turns into a good man, that good man tends to be um, assertive. He, he tells you what he wants, but he's also a bit flexible and he's not overly demanding. And, you know, he's assertive and he can give as good as he gets. So I hope that answers that person's question. Um, yeah, what else have I got here? Uh, I'm not even going to go into that because <laughs> there's there's lots of little elements to this whole thing but I just thought I would put it from my perspective why nice men finish last but good men are right up there and go the whole hog that's all for now bye bye